Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to configure the GPS module into the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing you do is you go to my GitHub page. You click on GPS and a quick trip trick on how to download certain repositories from GitHub is you click the link and then you go to the website down Git, which I will link below. You paste the link and then just download. So let me cut, paste this onto my desktop, extract, and just delete this. Okay, so what I have here is I ultimately have two files. So I have the GPS info pi file, and this is a Python file that will allow us to read and extract information from the GPS, but then I also have a text file and this basically just contains the instructions. So if I can open it, this will have the instructions on how to install the GPS. So uh, these instructions are from GitHub. So you can either read the GitHub and install it yourself. But for me, I just made this video to make it a bit easier for you. So the first thing you do is you open the command terminal and you plug in the GPS. So let me plug in the GPS. So after you plug in the GPS, you have to install sudo apt install, you have to do uh, this in line. And this is basically what interfaces with a USB receiver. Okay, uh, so after that, we always want to check to make sure that we correctly install GPSD clients. So what we do is we type in the command prompt, sudo service GPSD uh, status, and we're checking to see whether this, whether the GPS is running. So you can see right here, it's active, it's running, it's okay. So in order to exit this state, I just press on my uh, keyboard, control C, and I can um, exit it. So the next thing I want to do um, is I want to look for the ID of the GPS. And this is really important um, in the process of configuring it with the, uh, with the Raspberry Pi. So I enter the list of devices. And ls basically shows uh, the list of devices. ls is just a command in Linux that shows the files um, that you have in a certain uh, repository. So we can see all these files. And we're looking for the ID of the GPS. And I can almost guarantee you that for at least for this specific GPS, um, the ID should be TTCAMO. So it's, I wrote it down here, uh, just jot it down, but it, for most likely for you, it will be TTYACMO as well. So you want to return back to your home. So the next thing you want to do is you want to enter uh, a editor. So just enter this. So now you're uh, on the GNU Nano. So now you want to um, find the devices. So the device is right here, and you want to uh, enter the uh, ID of the GPS. So uh, for me, TTY ACMO is the ID of the GPS. If there's changes, if you're using a different GPS, uh, just enter that ID of the GPS. So uh, then you press Control O, Enter, and then Control X, and this is how you uh, exit your uh, the editor. So now you want to restart the GPSD in order for the changes to come into effects. Same thing, uh, oops, you want to, um, okay, I will mess it up. Uh, you want to sudo service GPSD status. So now you want to check whether uh, it's running uh, oops, it's supposed to be You want to check to make sure that it is 
um, like running the GPS, the same thing again. So once again, just make sure it's active and running. Uh, if you ever have a problem where it's active, not running, try to plug the GPS in again, try to restart um, the uh, commands in the TXT file. So once again, control C to exit. And now uh, all you have to do is you have to install the libraries that the Python file requires. So if we open this Python file, Um, we can see how oh God, we can see how it requires uh, daytime, uh, GPS, whatnot. So uh, these uh, libraries do not come pre-installed on your Raspberry Pi. So you have to install them yourself. So it's just a matter of installing using pip. Uh, so pip is basically a package manager, uh, and it's yeah, so that's it. It's just it's basically a package manager. So install GPS. Pit three install pipes. And I I think we have to install date time too. It wasn't here in the instructions, but uh, we have to install date time. Date time does not come pre installed on the Raspberry Pi. Oops, I first right install. Okay, so we installed um, the necessary uh, dependencies. Uh, so now let's run the uh, program. So there's a couple of ways that you can run it. So uh, I can just run it using just from um, the Python um, idle, so from uh, mu. So I can just run it from here and you see how it's running, gives the time, the position, um, the speed. Uh, you can only run it from a Python um, IDE if um, if you're, uh, if the things that you installed, you installed outside of uh, the virtual environment. So, uh, for me, um, I installed uh, these libraries outside the virtual environment, so I can run it. If you install it inside a virtual environment, you have to um, first access your virtual environments uh, through the command uh, command terminal. But obviously, in this situation, I did not um, install using a virtual environment. So, want to access first. So uh, we first, in order to run the program, we want to access where we saved the Python file. Uh, so we obviously, first it's in the desktop and the um, folder is called GPS. So the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, enter it. So we want to um, uh, just write Python 3, which is, and then we want to write GPS info. And then uh, the uh, Python is uh, the file is not running, and you can see the information. And then to uh, exit or to make it stop working, to kind of break the um, break the program, just press Control C too. So then you can see how now the file is written into a TXT file.